Hey guys, Wild got a showdown OU match here today because I actually got some Wi-Fi battles stocked up, but I just wasn't in the mood to really record any right now because I have school soon, so I just would rather chill out and just do some showdown. So, fuck okay. it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. OU match here. I'm using a really old team. It's actually one of the first teams I made when uh, Black and White 2 came out just because I wanted to use Landorus and then just a bunch of this shit. But for those of you who don't know the team, since it's really old, it's... Uh, Standard Landers T it was actually like Superpower Rock Slide instead of U Turn HP Ice. I quick change it to that, but it also is like Max Defense Max HP. But I I made it the my current standard, so whatever. Um, special Defense of Rachi, uh, Choice Bandit Ape, Choice Scarf Hydragon, Special Defensive Rotom and Nasty Plot Celebi. Because having two Special Defensive guys on a team is obviously smart, but I don't know. I, I felt like it would work and it'd be cool. But, uh, yeah, that's my team. Opponent's team got just a really aggressive team with, well, it's, uh, yeah, it's actually pretty aggressive now that I think about it, but, you know, pretty aggressive team going on his end. Main threats I do have to watch out for, though, are going to be the Latios, the Terrakion, and the Kingdra. Because Kingdra, if it gets set up, like, a bit too much, I don't have anything that can really take it on that well, because... He can outrage my Rotom, he can outrage my Celebi, and then he can Waterfall my uh, Jirachi. So it's like, I gotta make sure I hit that down really quick. Otherwise, it is gonna run through my team very easily. And then Trakion, I only have Landorus to really take it on. And he's got plenty of Landorus checks, so I just gotta make sure I watch my Landorus well enough. And just check that Trakion well too, so that's that. And then Latios, only has got his Jirachi, and like I said, he's also got a lot of Jirachi checks, so... It's just mainly my synergy against his synergy. It's just I got to keep my team as healthy and alive as possible while making sure I check everything. But at the same time, you know, just pound him down. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. But leads on his end. I figured looking at his team that Rotom would be the best lead because he can lead with basically anything except for like Kingdra. Like he can lead with that, but it's not optimal. But I figured Rotom would be my best lead. And if I really need to pivot to something, it shouldn't be that hard. So I'm just going to lead with Rotom. So let's get into it. He's gonna decide to lead off with Landorus. Like I said, a lead off with Rotom. I figure right here, he's not gonna want to stay in, and he does actually go right for the U turn. And actually, does a little bit, so that's a thing to note for later. But, and he was also faster, so that's even another thing to note. So, he shouldn't be defensive, so I'm just gonna keep that in the back of my head. But, he goes into his own Rotom as I just Will O Wisp. It's gonna be nice. I mean, I don't need the Will O Wisp on it, but. It's just the fact that residual damage is always a nice thing to have. But, uh, I just Volt Switch out, going to Celebi, because I know I can take on Rotom. He goes out to his Jirachi off of his own Volt Switch, and I'm like, okay, he's either going to U-turn or lay up rocks. I don't really want to risk the U-turn just yet, so I'm just going to go out to my own Landorus as he just lays up rocks, and I just get up the Stealth Rocks on my own, because that's the best thing to do. And he reveals he has Icy Wind, which is actually a really interesting move to have on Jirachi, just because it's like... I don't know, I wouldn't do it just because of the fact that Jirachi has just major 4 move syndrome, so personally, I, I wouldn't do it on a support Jirachi role, but I just go out to Rotom just in case he goes into the Icy Wind. He does predict that, and I figured he was going to predict me to switch out, but I still just want to be safe either way. So I went to Rotom, but he goes U-turn to Latios, so I gotta go out to Jirachi to take anything. I don't want to risk anything else, so yeah. Just to go out to Jirachi, but he does go for Draco, and it does look like he specs, so I can just U-turn out as he goes into Rotom, because he figures, I guess, I'm going to go for something else, I don't know, but I go into Celebi, because I figure, okay, what he's probably going to do is, as I bring in Celebi, just go back out to Jirachi, so I'll get up a Nasty Plot, so I can start Earth Powering, and if he goes into anything else, I should be able to take one hit, and then hit him really hard, so... That was kind of my, my mentality of that. I hit the Drachi with the Earth Power. It does a lot, which means I'm going to be able to take it out later, which means I'm going to have a lot more leeway against his team. So that's actually really important, because also I have the Hydragon, which is going to be huge. But he goes up to Landorus. I don't exactly want my Celebi to die just yet. So I decided to go to my own Landorus, which uh, I take the Stone Edge all right, I guess. But I'm not going to be able to take another one, but I guess he doesn't want to risk him missing Stone Edge. So he goes out to his Rotom just to die, which really didn't make much sense to me at the time, but then I realized, wait a second, he went for Stone Edge. I guess he gets a free switch now that it dies over to this Terrakion, I guess, which just goes for Stone Edge, and I die. 
So, I mean, I, I really didn't see the point, because you'll see later his Landorus is choice scarfed. So, I mean, it was just really weird. But, anyway, I go to Infernape after he kills off my Landorus. And I saw since the tracking on the Life Orb, I could probably just go for Close Combat to try and take him out. He might be baited into switching because I could carry the Mach Punch or be scarfed. So, I figured Close Combat would be safe. He goes at Jadrachi as fodder, which is fine, it's out of the way. And... Here, I needed to fodder something off. I didn't really know it would be the most useless thing on my team, and I decided it was going to be the Celebi, which, in hindsight, I would have liked it for the Kingdra more than I would have liked Rotom, but stupid choices. <laughs> but anyways, he brought in Terrakion at, off of uh, the thing, and I decided to bring in Hydreigon, because I figured Hydreigon would be the best thing for me to bring in. Because it can Drake a Meteor, kill him, and I don't have to risk any weird speed tire not killing bullshit, because Drake a Meteor from Hadragon is fucking powerful. So I take out the Trachyon, he brings in Landorus, I don't want to risk minus two not killing, and I know I'm going to need Hadragon for the rest of the, his team, so I switch out to Rotom as fodder, and go back into Hadragon to try and Drake a Meteor the Landorus, but he switches out to Kingdra, which I just really found weird, because if he sacked the Landorus right there, he probably would have had a better chance because of the fact that his Kingdra could have just set up against me, but I guess he, for some reason, valued his Landorus more, thinking it would do more for him. But I don't know if he realized... Actually, he should have realized I was Scarfed, but I don't know. It was just weird, but anyways, I went out to Infernape just to die. I live with 1%, so I'm like, alright, I can hit him, but now I find out he's Choice Scarfed because he has to hit me with another superpower. But that's fine, I didn't really care anyways. But anyways, go back into Hydreigon. Just go for Draco as he goes out to Latios to die, which again, I just found... Well, I mean, Latios makes sense to die, but I just really don't get why he sacked the Kingdra. I mean, if it was Dragon Dancing or even Rain Dancing, he actually probably would have had the game, but I'm not going to choose to understand his mentality. But anyways, he just went out to Landers. I knew minus two Draco Meteor would still even kill at that range, so just take him out. No one has a single Draco too, so that's really nice. But anyways, that'll be the match. The GG guy. The only thing I really just didn't understand was that Kingdra switch, but whatever. That's how this game goes. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like I said, I should have a Wi-Fi battle up soon. It's just I just wasn't in the mood to do it today because I just wanted to quick do something and chill out and just you know Wi-Fi battles take all the time in the recording the exporting department. So eh. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. That is it for this, so hope you guys enjoyed. Such, such, blah. Recommend sub, and later, guys.